Hi there, my name is Colin Kwasnick and I'm a dentist for the University of Vermont Medical Center. So why did I decide to pursue dentistry? Um, well, I'm one of 15 kids. Uh, my parents adopted, or had five kids that adopted, um, you know, the rest. And many of the ones that were adopted were from other countries and had cleft lip and cleft palate. Now if you don't know, cleft lip and cleft palate is when the, either the lip or the palate itself does not fuse uh, together. So uh, your lip can be split in the front and the same thing with the palate going down to back towards the throat. It can be split apart. Um, this can cause problems with eating and um, obviously talking, uh, aesthetics, all those sorts of things. So. Growing up in an environment where my siblings had those problems and seeing the difficulties that they experienced uh, turned me on to dentistry, I think from an early age, um, and seeing how the doctors could help them and how rewarding that was for them was something that, that always interested me. Um, when I got to college and I didn't really know what I wanted to do, I was always very interested in science and biology and healthcare. Uh, so I knew I wanted to become a doctor of some sort, I just didn't know what, what type. Uh, I spent some time shadowing several different you know, types of doctors, both physicians and, and dentists, and I realized that the dentists uh, really fit my mold a lot better because the flexibility in dentistry um, is greater if you own your own practice, uh, the business opportunities if you're interested in business and, and entrepreneurial is greater in dentistry in the lifestyle and the, the procedural aspects of dentistry and working with your hands was something that was more exciting to me. Um, in addition to that, uh, my mom and uncle were dentists, so it only seemed fitting for me to, to you know, start shadowing and pursuing this career. And once I started that process, I realized that it was something that I wanted to pursue and, and to go after. So. So there's a specific pathway that one needs to take in order to become a dentist. Uh, the first step of which is to get your undergraduate degree. Now this doesn't have to be in any science related field. It can be in absolutely anything that, that interests you, but you do need to uh, have a degree from uh, a university or college, uh, a four year degree, and you do need to take the prerequisite courses that are required by dental schools. Uh, typically these are all the same courses uh, for each dental school. Some might require uh, one or two different courses, but you don't have to worry about that just yet. That's something you'll look into when you're in the application process. In addition to uh, the prerequisite courses and the undergraduate degree, you also need to take an admissions test. The admissions test is similar in concept to the SAT uh, for college, but in this case, you're taking this exam in order to compare your scores to other applicants in the field and uh, enhance your chances of, of getting an interview and getting into the dental school. So you've completed the four years of college, you've taken the dental admission test and you scored great, and now you get into dental school. Dental school itself is four years, uh, so that's at eight years in total after high school, and that's just to become a general dentist. If you want to specialize, uh, that depends on the specialty and can be anywhere from two more years after dental school for a total of 10 years, up to uh, six more years after dental school, which would be a total of 16 years after high school. Uh, those, those specialties range uh, based on the, the complexity um, of the specialty. So oral surgery being the most complex and the highest number of years required after dental school uh, between four and six years. So that's the basic path to getting into dental school, and uh, it's a long road, but it's, it's definitely uh, worth it and very rewarding. So as a dentist, uh, we do many, many procedures, and we specialize in the oral cavity, or, or the mouth, the teeth, the gums, and the bone, all in, in, in this area. Um, and more recently, uh, a lot of dentists have also been getting into the airway and um, things like sleep apnea, which is when someone stops breathing when they're sleeping, and how you can reposition their jaw in order to decrease their sleep apnea 
and, and increase their uh, ability to breathe when they're sleeping. Um, most people think of dentists as just drilling out cavities and putting in fillings. And yes, we do do that, but dentistry is so much more than just that. As a dentist, you can move the teeth in someone's mouth uh, in a way that makes it not only more aesthetic, but allows them to speak. We don't think of teeth as allowing us to speak, but the air that comes out of our, our mouth and the noises that we make has to do with how our teeth and lips are positioned. So if you lose teeth or those teeth are rotated, twisted, turned, etc., uh, then it could cause difficulties with speech. In addition to that, eating is such an important component of life, and when you lose your teeth, it can impact your ability to eat and your quality of life. So we do a lot of work with obviously keeping teeth in someone's mouth and preventing disease from occurring and that tooth loss from occurring, but also what do we do once the teeth have been lost? And uh, I joke about this, but the D in, in dentist is for doctor uh, because we go to school for so many years. Uh, the E is for engineer because the appliance or the prosthetics that we make, uh, or the fake tooth, the, the denture, all those sorts of things have to be done uh, from an engineering component, an engineering mindset, because you have to be able to withstand the, the temperature changes in the mouth, such as when you drink hot coffee or drink ice water, they have to be able to withstand the forces, hundreds of pounds of force um, that are applied on them every time you chew, and not only forces in one direction from chewing like this, but horizontal forces and things like that from when you grind, uh, etc. So the D is for doctor, the E is for engineer, and the ending, the TIST, is for artist because so many components of, of dentistry are artistic um, and based off aesthetics. Uh, you think if you saw someone and they didn't have nice teeth, it would completely change their overall appearance. Um, and well, we mostly focus on treating disease and, and you know getting someone uh, out of the disease state first. Uh, aesthetics and the artistic side of dentistry is a big component in how we build those restorations and, and how we you know move their teeth to make them look um, and function in, in an aesthetic way. So, <clears throat> as a general dentist, you can do all of those things. You can do surgery, such as taking teeth out, which is known as an extraction. You can reshape the bone. You know, maybe you need to remove some bone uh, in order to allow room for a prosthetic appliance. Uh, maybe you need to reshape the gum tissue. Uh, those are called plastic procedures. And it's similar to like a plastic surgeon, you know, changing something about someone's body. Uh, you can do uh, endodontics. Endodontics is a specialty in dentistry where they specialize in treating infections that have gone through the tooth and now are affecting the nerve and blood supply uh, inside that tooth. Um, you can do pediatric dentistry where you see kids. You can do geriatric dentistry where you see elderly people. Uh, radiology is a huge component of dentistry. Um, and we look at CT scans. We diagnose uh, x-rays constantly all day long. Um, so being able to understand, read x-rays, uh, both in the two-dimensional plane, a uh, typical radiograph, or the three-dimensional planes, uh, which is seen on a CT scan. Uh, and it, in addition to all those things, uh, my favorite part of dentistry is the relationships I get to establish with the patients. And you can see a patient for you know your whole career, 40 years, and you see that patient, you see their kids, you see that patient's grandkids. Um, so having those relationships and, and seeing those patients frequently um, is to me one of the most rewarding things in dentistry. So a normal work day in dentistry um, involves a lot of problem solving. So a patient will come in with what we call their chief complaint or the, you know, the main problem that they're having. It can be, you know, my tooth hurts, um, I have an infection and a swelling, uh, my teeth aren't straight enough, um, I've lost these teeth and now I bite funny and I can't chew. How do we, how do we fix those things? So as a dentist, you need to be able to, to diagnose those problems um, and be able to form a treatment plan um, and give the patient several options that allow them to, to pick which one they'd like to go with. Um, to solve solve those problems. 
my typical workday, a lot of it consists of doing fillings and extractions just because of the, the location of the practice that I, I'm currently at. Um, as a resident, we go on several rotations, one of which is at the Community Health Center in Plainfield, Vermont. So I'm seeing a different patient population than most dentists would likely see. Um, dentistry, in a typical dental workday, you'll see uh, about seven to 15 patients of your own, all of which you're mostly doing either procedures or exams on. Uh, then you'll also see patients, um, you know, maybe another seven to 10 patients in the, who come in to get their teeth cleaned by the hygienist, and you'll see them to do an exam and make sure that everything's going, you know, good and they, they don't have any cavities forming and things like that. So dentist, a typical dental day consists of, you know, seeing patients all day long, doing lots of procedures, which can, can vary um, across the board and be extremely diverse. Uh, and you are always, most of the time, always working with your hands. Um, because it's, it's a very procedure-based occupation, you're always working with your hands trying to, to fix something or, or do something. So if you enjoy working with your hands, uh, don't want to sit at a desk and do a desk job, uh, dentistry is one of the occupations in, in healthcare that allows you to do that. So what might make a student a good candidate to pursue dentistry? Um, well, if you enjoy healthcare, the health related fields, if you enjoy medicine, uh, if you enjoy helping others uh, and want to work with your hands and, and do a, you know, get in, into an area of medicine that isn't, um, you know, it's very procedural based, dentistry is a great option. Um, in addition to that, if you enjoy business and if you're entrepreneurial, dentistry offers many opportunities to own your own practice and be a small business owner. And um, if you enjoy engineering, and artistic components, then dentistry is also a great choice. And if you are interested at all, I would encourage you to talk to your, your own local dentist um, or reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to have you shadow and discuss in more detail uh, to see if dentistry is something that you would like to pursue.